أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذ قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله اصطفاك وطهرك واصطفاك على نساء العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Living with the glorious Quran Yesterday we discussed dhikr that is the mentioning of the name of Allah in whatever situation we find ourselves uh, stopping with the hadith of the man who came, the Bedouin. He came asking for any solution. And the Messenger of Allah told him, Salama, that his tongue should always be moist with the remembrance of Allah. We shall move to the, to the cream of the narration concerning whom Allah has said, And the male is not as the female. And what a female she was, Mary, the daughter of Imran, the leader of the women of the entire world, not only the women of our own time, the most honored woman in the entire world. Mary was unique in the religion of Islam in that she was the only woman whose name was mentioned in the glorious Quran. No other woman was so named in the Quran. No mention of any other woman in the Quran except Maryam, the daughter of Imran, Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Mary, the devoted slave of Allah, who was the first female to be accepted as an offering consecrated for the service of Allah in the religion of that time. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said concerning her, concerning Mary, Kamula min al-rijali kathir, wa lam yakmul min al-nisai illa Maryam ibn Imran, wa asiyatu imra'atu Fir'aun, وفضل عائشة على النساء كفضل الثريد على سائر الطعام. That is the hadith of the Messenger Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said many men have attained perfection, but very few women have attained such perfection. Those that have attained perfection amongst the women are Maryam. Mary, the daughter of Imran, Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, and the superiority of Aisha above other women is like that of the superiority of Atharid over other foods. What is Atharid? Atharid is what we call uh, swallow in Nigeria or in Nigerian English. Uh, in the line of Tuo, uh, Amala, uh, Apu, these are all swallow, according to Nigerians, and that is Atharid. The Arabs have something similar to Tuo uh, that we have here. So he said the superiority of Aisha over other women is like the sup superiority of Atharid over uh, other forms of uh, or other foods. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In another hadith, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Hasbuka min nisail alameen Maryam ibn Imran wa Khadija ibn Khuwailid wa Fatima ibn Muhammad wa Asiya ibn Ra'at Fir'aun. That sufficient for you among the women of mankind are Maryam, the daughter of Imran, Khadija bint Khuwailid, Fatima bint Muhammad, and Asiya, Zawj Fir'aun, Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. These two traditions are showing the women that have attained perfection, and on top of that list, on top of that list, in these two traditions, 
is Mary, the daughter of Imran. According to some exegetes of the glorious Quran, Mary, Maryam, the daughter of Imran, was a prophetess. Hardly would you hear this word in Islam. But this had, according to their understanding of the verses that we have read so far in Ali Imran and other places in the Quran, Maryam السلام, was a prophetess of Allah. They said Allah spoke to his prophets directly. Allah spoke to her directly. We have seen a number of places whereby that was, was seen in the discussions that we have had in this uh, Living with the Glorious Quran for 2023. And the angel came to her and blew into her dress, which we shall come to see uh, later. So only a prophet would Allah send an angel to, especially the, the leader of all the angels, Archangel Gabriel, to come and speak to one. Only a prophet would have that honor. So to them, Maryam salam was a prophetess in Islam. Some other scholars said, no, how can she be a prophet? Maryam was not a prophet because the Quran says, by the authority of the owner of the book, who said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ We sent as our messengers before you only men whom we have inspired. So since the Quran has said that those that were inspired by Allah in the past were men, there is no proof to counter, according to these scholars, their opinion that Maryam was not a prophetess. The best that has been said about Maryam uh, and even I have been repeating salam, since we started discussing uh, Mary as if she was a prophet according to the position of the uh, first set of scholars. The best opinion concerning Mary is that she was the honored one. She was the trustworthy one. She was the anointed by Allah, chosen above the women of all the worlds. Inshallah, when we meet tomorrow, we shall take on more verses on the issue of Mary, the daughter of Imran, the mother of Jesus Christ. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.